Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez, Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us. Today is September 3rd, 2019. September already. I don't know if you can believe that, but um, anyway, this program, this program features members of the Texas Gulf Coast Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We're here in the heart of Conroe, Texas, featuring one of our members and... Um, well, the point, and the point of all of this is to make sure that you uh, understand and know just how valuable, just how valuable it is uh, to be acquainted with and to, to, uh, to get to know some of the people that put together and make up our Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the show, of course, is, is sponsored by the Lupe Martinez, Lupe Martinez Insurance Agency. And, of course, with Lupe, you're in good hands. And uh, Lupe Martinez, if you, if you travel around Conroe at all, Conroe, Texas, which is north of the woodlands uh, here in the greater Houston area, if you, so if you travel around Conroe and you look up when you, at a stop sign, you will see a, a, a big sign with Lupe's face on it. That's how you know you've made it. Lupe is Conroe, and, and she's also in the woodlands, but Lupe Martinez can be found at, at uh, lupemartinez.com for all of your insurance needs. All of us have insurance, and all of us have insurance that's going to be at some point, at some point, evaluated. Though it's going to, it's going to run out, or what do you call it? It's going to expire, and you're going to have to renew. So rather than have your insurance agency just automatically renew it without you even thinking, think this time. Go ahead and give Lupe Martinez and her staff a chance to quote, which they will do for free and very quickly, and and see if they can't save you money. They've saved already money for a lot of our members. So for the Texas Gulf Coast Hispanic Chamber or MyTexasChamber.com. We're very happy that Lupe is one of our sponsors for the radio show. Also sponsoring this show is, uh, of course, you guys know her, Angela Schimmels with Image 360. Because a, a business without a sign is a sign of no business. So Image360.com, that's Angela Schimmels, and she's also one of our sponsors. Today is special, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have just uh, joined us. Today is a very special day. I'm Dr. Carlos Sanchez. This is the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. You can learn more about us at mytexaschamber.com. Find out why we are the preferred chamber of commerce for business. Just go to our, our website, mytexaschamber.com, and learn more. But I'm saying this is special because we have a debut. We have somebody doing this for the first time ever. Well, kind of ever. We'll see My if it's ever. Time. It's her second time. <laughs> you know, uh, and the way this whole program began was pretty much similar to, to your circumstance, which was you showed up, and then the next week, you're like, hey, why don't you come in and do a show? Yeah. You know, when I first started this program about two and a half years ago, it was similar. My background was, was something very different, and I realized that I love doing things like this. You know? And, and um, so for about two and a half years, we've been doing this program. And it starts just the way you're starting today. You, know, you're, you think, you know, you got it? Okay, here it goes. <laughs> We're going to ask you some questions. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm, I'm speaking to Janice Moreno. Uh, the biggest and most important thing about Janice that you need to know uh, is twofold. One, she is a hairdresser, so she can do your hair, but that's really not the biggest and most important thing. I think the most important thing is that she served our country for, for a, a good, uh, how many years, Janice? Six years. For six years. So she's a veteran, but when you look at her, she doesn't look like a veteran. Guys, I'm not sure what they're supposed <laughs> to look like. I'm not, and so for those of you who hear that laugh, she's laughing because she's acting like she's some sort of, I'm not sure, some sort of actress or something. Radio personality. Now she's a radio personality <laughs> trying to get her family discounts at different places <laughs> using her radio influence. <laughs> and she's been on the radio twice. Anyway, Janice Moreno, thank you for being here and welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm super, super excited. As soon as you asked me, I was just like, Yes. What, what, what do I need to do? And, you know, we were worried. We thought, okay, well, you know, she looks kind of shy a little bit. And, and I personally, because when I mentioned it to Tom, Tom Brody, who, by the way, is the host of this program, usually, but when I mentioned it to Tom, he said, yeah, well, she might be okay. And then I talked to Lily, who's our other hostess. She, she hosts the radio show in Spanish in Houston. And she said, sure. And I go, okay. <laughs> that wasn't a real sure. Why, why are you saying that? Because like, she doesn't know you that well mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. We both thought you were kind of a shyer sort of type person, yeah. but then we realized, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you can ask my family. I'm very outspoken. I'm, I'm probably 50% of things that come into my mouth is like a quote from a movie. Okay, so you'll be <laughs> quoting movies maybe. That'll give you a great personality here on the air, so that's good. <laughs> and you'll be talking about the things you're doing too. And, you know, with, with the, the whole point behind, behind uh, Janice being a member of our, of our team 
is we want to balance our programs to make sure that there's male and female energy and that there's a whole, you know, uh, symbiotic thing going on between you guys because that, that really helps the program. Mm -hmm. You know, it helps everybody. Yeah. And, um, and because, because our Chamber of Commerce, I don't know if you guys know this, our Chamber of Commerce is about 65% women. I mean, if that's, I get down right. the whole that's roster, right. <laughs> 65, 70% of everyone that belongs to our chamber are, are women, you know, and, and there's nothing at all wrong with that. It, 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 and our businesses of all sizes, so the demographic tells us that we do want to sort of reflect that. You know, that's why we have men and women on our programs. Plus, I like, I like uh, Mr. Tom. I'm really excited. You like Mr. Tom. I like so, Mr. Tom. So, <laughs> Mr. Tom, if you're listening, uh, you can go ahead and you can text and, and, and say hello because... By the way, you guys can text the program. If you want, you can text me directly. I'll give you one number, and that way we can distribute that. Uh, you can text 832-436-8956. 832-436-8956. You can uh, catch us on Facebook Live, and uh, you can also reach us uh, just directly calling Janice. So, Janice, I know your brothers, and <laughs> how, how many people do you have in your family that are listening? Um, actually, I'm not sure, but I have my... Uh Three of my brothers, my mother, maybe my dad, my husband. Um, I know I have an aunt somewhere in San Antonio. Okay. Yeah. So, so your husband's listening from far away probably? Yes. Okay. He's in Laredo. So he's, is he stationed in Laredo? Yes. What does he do down there? He is the National Guard helping out with the Border Patrol. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so the whole Border Patrol thing, that's interesting, right? Yeah. You know, because I have friends who, who actually, somebody's calling, sorry guys, I can't take your call. <laughs> <laughs> it's a text. Um, the whole Border Patrol, I, was, I, was, uh, I have some friends that, that, that do community work and things like that. And, and so on one end, you see, if you go to Laredo, you don't see a lot of what's happening mm -hmm. in the border at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you can, you know, Try. the borders are busy, <laughs> but that's for people coming into the U.S. and people leaving. So yeah. it's a very busy border. But there's other parts of the border where things are terrible, where things are, are bad. Mm -hmm. And, and so one of my friends goes down there and, and gives food and does stuff like that. So your husband basically makes sure that, that, that in, in the border areas, people are protected, people are... Whatever the Border Patrol needs, he just okay. helps out. Very good. Yeah. All right. So Janice Moreno, what is your experience doing this kind of work? What do you, what, what, what's your deal? Tell the, let the public know that you're, why you should be the one we selected for this job. Well, because I'm super ambitious. I'm super motivated. Um, I enjoy talking to people. I like... Uh, being in that leadership role and feeling that I can take, I have something to say mm -hmm. constantly. <laughs> so, okay. and I also like getting to know new people. So, I'm really glad that I get to debut with this lovely lady. Well, oh, this, uh, thank you. Thank well, you. well, you're listening to Krista Birch. Krista Birch is a real estate investment entrepreneur. And uh, we're going to talk more, a lot more to Krista in, the, in a couple minutes. But the bigger thing with Krista is just to remember. Uh, there are probably 10 different folks in the, our Chamber of Commerce who do um, the buying and reselling of homes or the, the buying, refurbishing, and reselling of homes, which, of course, if you watch enough television, you'll see it. Uh, they call it flipping or flipping a home. And they don't do it for very long. You know, it's one of those things that it's, it's almost like the Shark Tank type thing, you know, that people get really, really excited about doing their own business and they get out there and do it and realize, oh my God, it's nothing <laughs> like what I thought it was. You know? There's a lot more detail behind it, I think, than what people realize when they see the TV shows. And Krista's so. been doing, that, doing this now for the better part of 20 years, which tells you that if you can sustain a business for that long, doing the same activity pretty much, you're doing it right. There's something you're doing that, that's actually worth talking about. And that's what we're going to talk to Krista about in a few minutes. Before that, though, I do want to mention that tomorrow, Tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. Tomorrow. 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 Thursday. No, Tomorrow's Wednesday, Wednesday. Tomorrow's September 4th. <laughs> uh, here at Spring Creek Barbecue right here in Shenandoah or in the Woodlands, no matter, I don't know what you want to call it. It's on 45 and Research Forest. It's uh, Spring Creek Barbecue. We have our, our luncheon. So basically it's, it's I know that dude's kind of weird, right? <laughs> um, it, it's a networking lunch. So we get about 30, 40 members and guests that show up to that lunch and, and do networking and things like that. Are you coming tomorrow? Yes, absolutely. I love, I I love, the, well. yeah, I love those, those meetings. It's very productive. Okay. Very informative. A lot yeah. of good information. Yeah. And, you, and, you always said that every time you go in, you have to have a mission. Sure. As long as you go in there and you do what you came to do, mm -hmm. then you're good to go. We call that having intention. intention. You know, so when you're in your car, a mission, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the soldier, okay. But in your car, you know, basically you have to think to yourself, when you're parked, okay, why am I here? What is my purpose? What am I trying to gain, et cetera? And you should always have something to gain because if you don't, then you lose motivation very quickly. It's very easy. 
you know, to show up and just have it be uh, some sort of social group where you don't really get any, any kind of anything. Tomorrow, we're also going to give away the complete guide to creating your own video newsletter. So and it's a few documents that I put together a while back. Uh, and uh, we teach our members, we teach other people who want to learn how to do that. So, so, and why do you guys think video is so important these days? I mean, we're on audio here, but we're also on television. And we're on Facebook Live. Why do you think that's so important? That's what everything's shifting to. Shifting or shifted? Shifted. <laughs> <laughs> it's, already, it's already there. Mm -hmm. So like, for instance, if I'm scrolling through Instagram, the first thing I'm going to stop in is the video. Always, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so here's the bigger thing. Like with Krista, who, who, who's also going to talk to us about her, her, her uh, events and, and with yourself, mm -hmm. is that at the beginning, when you start video, you're going to stink it up. Don't even think about it. <laughs> you, and, yeah, we, you know, I and, uh, and I still, you know, take 32, uh, <laughs> and you're going to mess it up. But after, after a few times, uh, you know, um, and a few hours, you will get good at it. And after your 100th video, you'll be a master. And that's what all of us are striving for. You know, so, so right now our videos, yeah. I'm glad I put one out today. Nobody watched it, which is good. <laughs> you know, I, I did the preview video, which I do every Monday now, is to preview our members so that they know what's coming up and what things are happening during the week every Monday. Uh, and we, we do some Facebook Live on this show and do some other things like that. You did it yesterday? And I did it today, this morning. Oh, okay. Of course, nobody saw it. That's good. <laughs> you know, but that's video. But, and we're going to just talk to our members tomorrow about how to do that with, with a little bit of consistency and why it's so important. Okay, so we want to welcome our guest today real quick. Uh, our guest is Krista Birch. Krista Birch is uh, with the C. Birch Investments, C. Birch LLC. Enterprises. Yes. Enterprises, sorry. Yes. Uh, it's, it's a home buying, refurbishing, and, and selling company. Yes, that is Of correct. course, house flipping. Yeah, I watch and, a lot of HGTV, so So, do Krista, you? Krista do. thank you very much for being on the program. <laughs> thank you for having me. And, and just real quick, before I forget, how can somebody reach you if they want to talk to you? Um, they can reach out to me through my phone number, which is 832-779-0206. At any point, they can text message me and ask for more information um, for the upcoming meetings or RSVP to the meetings with that format. Um, that is a number that you will get me 99% okay. of the time okay. if I'm not busy. 832? 832-779-0206. Uh -huh. 06. All right. That's, That's Krista Birch. Uh, she's going to be talking to us about investments and about doing things with your money and with your time, which uh, should be really interesting. I want to remember uh, and remind you that this program is brought to you by the Lupe Martinez Insurance Agency, also Image 360. And um, I, you look like you have something to say, Janice Moreno. <laughs> go ahead and say it. I was just going to say, what if your business is not a sign with... Wait... Your business without a sign is it's a, a sign, sign of, of no business. business. And, 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 and um, what's her name? Angela Schimmels. What's her name? <laughs> Angela Schimmels. Angela Schimmels can create the best signs for you and make sure that you're seen. You know, I have, I have friends who, who won't drive up to the woodlands because they say they can never find anything. You know, and it, it's kind of true because in the woodlands, everything's hidden behind trees, except for the companies that are smart, mm -hmm. like, like Chase Bank and McDonald's and others who put signs, you know, and people see, you know, from, from the highway. So... Uh, if you have a business or, or, or something that you need to show people uh, where, where it is, make sure you get a sign because that will, that will uh, make uh, us know how to get there. Yes. <laughs> All right. I, so. I can also personally attest to that. Angela Schimmels did some business cards for me about two weeks ago. And I sent her a bunch of raw information and said, plan your little heart out. Marketing is really not my forte. Now, if it's flipping houses, I can take you from front to back and be done. But she did great. Okay. All right. So uh, this is the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. When we come back, we're going to talk to Krista Birch a lot more about flipping. So please stay with us. We'll be right back. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app for your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's community radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That is Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. We have the safest food supply in the world. Strict laws and regulations restrict the usage of hormones, antibiotics, and pesticides within our food supply. Production agriculture practices and technologies such as the use of GMOs, which is not any more or less risky than conventional crop production, 
has allowed American farmers to produce more food on less acres in environmentally sound ways. Find out more online at pathtotheplate.tamu.edu. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make lives better. Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk, music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question, comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station on IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez with the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show, a program that features members of the Texas Gulf Coast Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. You can find out more about us at MyTexasChamber.com. MyTexasChamber.com is our website, of course, and um, you can learn all about our programs and all about the things we do to help give our members visibility, help them with targeted education, and, of course, business connections. So today, uh, this program is, of course, sponsored by the Lupe Martinez, Lupe Martinez Insurance Agency. She's uh, right down the street here in Conroe. But she's also in the Woodlands. I just go to LupeMartinez.com, and you can find out all about how to check your insurance and get the best rates. Because I've, t- I've been told that uh, State Farm lowered its rates. That's what they've said. And I believe it because Lupe is a, one of our sponsors. So I'm blindly going to Lupe and just saying, here, take my insurance. And the reason I'm doing that is because as far as I'm concerned, how, how much of a dramatic difference is it going to make between one company and another? Might as well go with a company that, that is proven with a company that's been around for a long time and et cetera, et cetera. You know, if, if it's just a few dollars, it's, it's, I think it's going to be well worth it. You know so, what I heard? I'm sorry? You know what I heard? What did you hear? Lupe Martinez is, is a big deal. Oh, no, she is. A, you <laughs> drive around Conroe, guys. All they need down here is just to do, like, some sort of parade on, in her honor or something. Well, she's a chairman's circle a participant. I mean, she's got the highest of the highest... Uh, sales and the highest of the highest returns and and oh she's she's very successful within state so so she is a big deal she is a big shot thank you Lupe Martinez if you're listening or if anybody that knows you's listening tell her that you heard it here first you know because we like to say that uh, if it stinks you'll smell it here first always <laughs> right so so and I'm here also accompanied oh by the way before I forget of course uh, Janice Moreno Janice Moreno is debuting today so Janice uh, we're also being sponsored by uh, by Image 360, Angela Schimmels. So, so what do you have to say about Angela? A business with no sign is a sign with no biz- of no business. Perfect. I'm working on a it. A business with no <laughs> sign is a sign with no business, guys, of no business. So make sure that if you, have, if you need everything from business cards all the way to wrapping your, your vehicles, Angela Schimmels, Image 360, right here local, she can take care of you. So if you need any, any uh, information on how to get a hold of her, just go to our website. MyTexasChamber.com. You can find the directory there. You can find Angela Schimmels. And she's also one of our members of, and, uh, of course, advisory board, et cetera, et cetera. So, so she is a big shot as well. All right. Speaking of big shots, we need to talk to, we need to, talk to <laughs> Krista Birch. Krista, um, earlier, earlier when I was welcoming you, you kind of um, alluded to something important, and that was that, um, that you do events now and things like that. But tell us a little bit, before you tell us about those events and things like that, how did you get started doing this kind of work, uh, flipping? Because I, 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 the people I know that flip, you know, their hair is gray. They, they, they're, they're always <laughs> running and they're always chasing somebody. And you don't have hair that's gray and you're not chasing anyone. Tell us, how long have you been doing this? So what's going on? I've been doing it close to 20 years and I do have gray hair. I just, okay. I hide them. <laughs> So, right, TMI, TMI. I know, right, right. Um, it's it's been a it's been a great business for the uh-huh. last twenty years. Um, I ended up getting into it because my ex husband wanted to do it, mm. and through many years of hemming and hawing and going, yeah, I really don't want to do this. We we finally dove in, um, and with a three month old and a nineteen month old, you know, I drug him around from property to property, um, doing what I still do today. 
Um, so it was it was a wild ride in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, it's mellowed out a lot. I mean, I guess over 20 years you learn a lot. You sure. refine processes as you move forward. Mm -hmm. um, so I've gotten to this point where I have this vast plethora of knowledge that I love talking to people about for hours on end. Mm -hmm. And so many people had come to me that I was like, it's time to put everybody in a room and let's start having a monthly meeting and let's start teaching the new people coming in the right way to do this mm. and how to how to last the long haul in real estate investing. So, so what's the, what's the big deal then? Uh, you know, I just I buy a bad looking home and I fix it and they sell it. Is that that's that? Well, that's the, that's all I see on TV for <laughs> half hour. <laughs> that is, but you miss a lot of the meat and potatoes and the detail that goes behind that. Mm -hmm. So, when you're going in and you're evaluating a property, there are so many aspects of it that you have to know. You need to know how to evaluate what the property is going to be worth when you're finished with it. You need to be able to evaluate what the repair costs are going to be. Okay. You also have to know how to manage your crews effectively mm -hmm. and efficiently, um, which can get a little hairy at times. So, so, not lie. so here's a question then. So why do you still do this? I mean, is this something that's in your blood now? You know, tw <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> it's definitely in my blood. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people that I've talked to that once they get past that first deal, um, it's kind of like crack. You get addicted to it. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, when you take such a massive project and mm -hmm. you turn it into something that was an eyesore in the neighborhood, not only are you creating value with what you've turned it into, you're creating value within that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So you're actually helping homeowners increase their property values by taking, like I said, that eyesore. So, and, so do you buy homes? Yes. Like right now, if somebody listening to us has a distressed situation where they're either being foreclosed or something's going on, you know, that they can't handle anymore and they want to sell their home, is that something you do? Absolutely. All they mm -hmm. need to do is they just need to text me um, or give me a phone call and they can text me at 832-779-0206. Um, I've bought estate properties. I've bought foreclosures. Mm -hmm. Um, pretty much you name it, I've done it across the board over the years. People that are getting divorces a lot of times have to liquidate assets. When sure. two parties want to move out, then mm -hmm. people are like, well, I don't want to pay for that house. You yeah. need to pay for that house. Okay. Well, I don't want to pay so for there that. is a way, there is a way to get out of some situations that if you don't like, or if you, if you uh, have run into circumstances at home where it's just not, it's just not possible anymore to, to handle the property, uh, Crystal Birch can take it off your hands. She uh, will purchase your home. Uh, if if the home is is in really bad disrepair, you can obviously that that's your meat and potatoes, right? That that's yes. where. Do you do you guys buy homes usually that are that are people in them or no no people? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's. I mean, you know, people ask me like, what's the price range you play in, or what's the majority of your situation or scenario? I'm like, well. I can't really answer that because it's all across the board. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they're owner occupied, sometimes they're not. Um, sometimes they need so much work that it's a matter of, you know, dealing with framing or structural issues, um, which is not a problem for me, but some people are scared of that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it depends on your expertise level. Like, I like to go into mine um, and move walls and make them look like they're a brand new home, um, something that would compete against something that's maybe in suburbia. Houston, okay. and that might be right in that nice little sweet hot pocket. But so you buy estate. homes anywhere, pretty much. I mean, all yes. the Houston. I, I've actually even bought stuff in North Carolina, sight unseen. So, um, if anybody's listening, like on my Facebook page, I know that there are some people from North Carolina that have reached out to me, and were like, "Hey, you know, let's talk about this. This is what I'm doing." And I was like, "By all means, call me. I'll be more than happy to talk to so, you." More so, game. Okay, so let me ask you then, Krista: Is it is this like an easy thing to start and do? <laughs> Um, like, would, would you say if if, well, if I read your book <laughs> on flipping, if I read the book that's in your head but that's coming, <laughs> right? If I read that book, is it is it a simple thing to do, uh, or are some of the people that I'm seeing right with no hair uh, and <laughs> why, all these folks? Is it true that they're really chasing? Yes. Well, it's it's twofold. There's mm -hmm. there's a place for everybody in this business. Whether it is you don't have any money and you get into wholesaling or you have money in an IRA account that you're not using and utilizing, it's it's not growing at the growth it's potential. It's kind of like legal gambling that. almost. Mm, only it's mitigated risk. So to me, it's not really gambling um, because the stock market is to me kind of gambling. It's so, another form. Yeah, sure. to, to me, it's more of a mitigated type risk. I mean, even if real estate goes down, if you don't sell it, it's not a loss. Some stocks that go down are never going to recover. Real estate is always going to recover. It's just a matter of time frame. Okay. So, um, like I said, I do think there's a place in this business for everybody. And, you know, like I said, if it's not wholesaling 
or flipping, or if you're a realtor, you know, I work with a lot of different realtors. Yeah. I'll buy from anybody who brings me a property if the numbers work for me. Mm-hmm. Does that mean that every property a realtor brings me is going to work? No. Um, I spent about an hour on the phone this morning with a realtor okay. that she brought me a property. So and how, 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 how risky is this for just a regular schmo like myself? Schmo's a big <laughs> word. Well, that depends on your expertise level. Well, I, I don't have any, but I have money. Well, then we can sit down and talk about you either being a private lender or Take doing, money. yeah, <laughs> there, there's a way to bring you into this business. It just depends on your comfort level and mm-hmm. where you're mm-hmm. at. But we could sit down and have a conversation about um, investing in the real estate market, whether you're comfortable enough doing it by yourself right. or if it's something where you wanted to invest with me um, and be a private lender and get a percentage rate return on the money. So, Krista, what about, what about for, for moms that are listening, or people like that, um, how difficult is it to balance your, your work life with your home life? I mean, you have two kids and you have all this stuff going on. How hard have you found it to be? Um, I think when my kids were younger, it was a bigger juggle because mm-hmm. when I started, I had a three-month-old and a 19-month-old. And I will tell you, there were days that I locked myself in the office with those French doors and my daughter would scream through the cracks. And I worked with the same title company back then, and she always knew. She was like, I get it, Krista. She's like, it's okay, because I'd be like, I'm sorry, I know you can hear that. Um, so it, back then it was more of a juggling act than it is now. Well, but now you can just give them five bucks and send them to the movies. <laughs> right? No, I don't even do that. Now both my kids want to be in the business with me, and they want to learn. And, um, you know, I've got one that I just dropped off at college and another one that's a junior in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, so now they play more of an active role. Like when we go in to do demo, to us demo is fun. So, you know, we'll go in there and tear up what we want to tear sure. up. Yeah, it's always um, fun on TV too, right? Yeah. It really is. Like I have videos of my son doing it. Yeah. So, so do, you, do, you, do you do any kind of video production or anything like that? Do you, do you document stuff like that that I can show? You know, slow motion demos. Right? Well, not even slow motion, <laughs> just the, the whole process that you do. Uh, do you Go ahead. I do have some Facebook Lives that I did no. on three of my properties. Here's what I mean. Right. So Video um, newsletters. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I don't have those yet. Well, I'm show up there. tomorrow. Come tomorrow <laughs> to lunch. If you come tomorrow to lunch, we're going to give you the steps on how to create your own video newsletter so you can market your business using video. We already know, and, and uh, this young lady over here, Janice Marino, agrees, video is the new now. Yes. So basically, if you're not using video to, to promote yourself and to do business, then you might be missing it. So I'm not saying this to you specifically, Krista. It's just something that all of us, all of us, have to learn to use mm-hmm. and embrace and, and get out there and do because um, most people all over the world will watch your videos, you know, uh, but they won't listen to you just talk because that's a talking head. There's tons of them, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and there's so many of them that, that have nothing to say, but still, you know. So anyway, uh, I'm here with Krista Birch. Krista Birch is a, uh, well, it's a real estate entrepreneur. She's an investor. She's also, she, she can take your hands uh, and hold them all the way through the process of, of selling your home. And she refurbishes, refurbishes, refurbishes homes and resells, and of course that's flipping. But I'm also here with the debut person, debutante, or the debut person, or how do we call you? Uh, this is Janice Moreno. The Janice. up-and-coming personality. Oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> the up-and-coming personality. <laughs> Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, right now, uh, be nice to Janice while her head still fits in this room. <laughs> you know, who knows what's going to happen later <laughs> once, once she starts demanding discounts and free things. Because uh, we know that she's been on the radio for two times. And her family's already telling her to get them sweets and stuff at the Marriott because she's got the personality, <laughs> and whatever that means. So bottom line is we're very excited to have you, uh, Janice, for sure. You know, and, and I know that there's a lot of other things you're going to be doing. So, so when we come back, when we come back, we're going to talk more to Krista Birch about just what it takes to be an investor, what it takes to flip a home, and more details about her, her events and the things that are coming up. So uh, this is the Hispanic Chamber Connection radio show brought to you by the Lupa Martinez Insurance Agency. Please stay with us. We will be right back. Remember to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on your computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. Lone Star Community Radio broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. 
Path to the Plate is a research-based education program that helps consumers understand how their food choices impact their health by making the connection to agriculture, learning about how food is grown and produced, and how consumers can make better food choices for themselves and their families. Path to the Plate is all about dispelling myths and misconceptions. Find out more online at pathtotheplate.tamu.edu. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make their lives better. Hey guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, Check out the Ticket Stub podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show with monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1 and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936-647-3776. We're back. We're back. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez, Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with us. This program is brought to you by the Lupa Martinez Insurance Agency. Lupa Martinez, you're in good hands. She's right here in Conroe, also in the Woodlands. Go to lupamartinez.com and find out more about how you can become one of her one of her clients, like most of us are at the chamber. We have about 550 members, you know, and, and a lot of them I got a call this morning and did the same thing. You know, when, when, when you show loyalty to your friends and to your, your partners and things like that, people always reciprocate one way or the other, you know, and so a lot of folks are beginning to show that to Lupe for sponsoring the show. But also, we have Angela Schimmels with Dimitri 360. And why is Angela so important? Janice Moreno? Because a business with no sign is a sign of no business. Pow. See, she got it. She only said it like five times in her head. And so because a business with no sign is a sign of no business, Angela Schimmels is uh, the sign person. She does everything from business cards to wrapping your vehicles to name it. She, she, she does signs you know, of all types. And, and she's been very helpful, very supportive to our chamber. She makes us look really professional by doing some great ribbons and all of our ribbon cuttings and some other things that she does that uh, we really appreciate from her. So... We're also accompanied by someone special. She um, is debuting today, and um, she's been doing the radio now for a very long time, it seems like. Uh, but, uh, and you'll be listening and hearing her almost every week. Uh, and uh, almost, I say almost every week, because I'm not sure if you're going to be here every week, but I think I'm you are. I'm definitely going to try. I'm, all, sure I'm on to try. almost two hours on air. <laughs> she, she, has a, she has two hours of experience, almost two hours of experience as a radio hostess, and, and she'll learn. We have this training that's coming up either way. We will talk about all that, but uh, this is Janice Moreno. Janice, say hello to uh, our listeners, please. Hello. All right, so there you go. That's her personality, ladies and gentlemen. She has a great personality, uh, but some people are tuning in. Some people are just listening to us for the first time just Absolutely. now. That's why. So if you're just tuning in, um, Janice Moreno is going to be one of our hostess. She's going to be the hostess here along with Tom Brody. And Janice is, is, a, is a mom. She's also a hairdresser, as you can tell by her hair, I think. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Uh, it's just a, it's, 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 styles. Well, it's just a thing. You know, hairdressers think that they have to walk around with really high, uh, high-end, sort of really cute hairstyles. Oh, no, just in general, your appearance. If you're going to someone, you know what I mean, who doesn't carry themselves very well, I'm, being, I'm pretty sure you're going to be like, um. And we speak into the microphone there. Thank Sorry. you. Sorry. Thank you, young lady. No, it's all right. No, no. You know, and, and of course, the third thing that, that y'all need to know is that Janice Marino is also a, a veteran of six years. She served. Uh, were you in any kind of the conflicts or in mm-hmm. Afghanistan? Afghanistan. Okay. So, yes. so uh, she was involved in some of that. And um, so, so our heart goes out to her. And a big thank you for, for all the work you guys have done and, and did, et cetera, et cetera. Her husband is still on the front lines, but he's on the front lines on the border. He's helping the, the National Guard with things going on. Uh, the Mexico United States border, wherever they are, because we're not even sure. I'm telling you, every time I drive, I, every time I drive through, which I've done many times now for the past two or three years, 
Uh, there's not a, like thousands of screaming Mexicans trying to get into the U.S. Mm. That that I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> but, I went during Thanksgiving, and that uh-huh. that Black Friday was crazy. Well, that's because people <laughs> were shopping. Yeah, you know, people coming back and forth trying to take as much as they can. Yeah, but yeah. it's not one of those things. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going back anyway. Yeah, but that's whatever that is. You know, yeah. you, you watch television, whoever has the news on, and yeah, it's production anyway. Yeah. That being said, we're here also with uh, with uh, someone I think is very special because you see. Having a business is one thing. When you start a business, the first five years are so, so, so terribly important because you generally don't make a lot of money. And the biggest risk is of you saying, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I have to go back into, you know, and work for, for the laundry I used to work for or for the landscape or whatever. Uh, and I have to just go back and say, I couldn't handle it. I, I couldn't do my own work, my own business. And, and that's fine. You know, not everybody's cut out to be an entrepreneur. Not everybody's cut out to be uh, on their own and, and taking all the risks and, and just doing the thing. Uh, and if you're doing that in um, in, la- in uh, I'm landscaping, in real estate, <laughs> it's even more. It's yeah, even more. Yeah. You know, there's uh, how many thousands of realtors in the, in the greater Houston area? I, I read, I think it was 36,000. And the weirdest, not the weirdest, but the sad, one of the saddest things is that about 80% of the realtors do not renew their license after one year. Mm. They just drop out. They just kind of, it's very, very difficult for, for the first few years of real estate to, to stay and sustain a career. Yeah. Well, this young lady has been doing it for 20 years, and what she's doing is, is taking homes and flipping, bottom line, you know? It's not at all like it is on television. This is Krista Birch. Krista, tell us, what is the difference between what you see on TV with those two cute guys that come out? What do they call the, the brothers? Oh, yeah. um, I don't know. I don't property watch Property brothers. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, of course. Don't play me. Or whomever <laughs> it is. You know, the, the sassy, you know, Asian lady with this, this, this cowboy guy. Chip and Joanna Keynes. Whatevs. You know, really? these, these people have made themselves. <laughs> I told themselves, you, I watch a lot of they, 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 have, they have their own persona, their own brand, and it's so easy. And they don't even get dirty. It's like they, they do what they do in, in minutes. Right. How unrealistic is that, Krista, for, for those of us thinking, oh, I'm just going to do it because I watch TV, like Janice thinks she can flip homes right now. Look at that well, face. Well, you probably can <laughs> with a little bit of guidance. So I, I've only actually ever watched one HGTV show. And so people ask me all the time, they were like, oh, do you watch this show or do you watch that show? I was like, no, I live it every day, Mm -hmm. so I don't want to watch it on TV. Mm -hmm. So, But those TV shows have captivated a lot of audiences, and they do have a huge misconception that they're watching within, you know, a 30-minute or an hour TV show from start to finish this, you know, wretched house that turned into this beautiful, immaculate thing. In a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, and it it literally takes— months to do that, Mm -hmm. depending on your scope of work. Mm -hmm. I mean, depending on um, how many different, you know, subs you're using. So scope of work is definitely really important to timeline. Yeah, I was listening Um, to you guys about your, the real estate, the real estate part. And that's, that's awesome. And I I listen, but honestly, the the meat and potatoes for me is interested in what your style is like separate from everybody else's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I I think that's where the fun part comes in is because I'm independent, I get to kind of choose my own style. Um, I'm still working on my own branding. That's few and far between. That's next. That's next. In the book. After the book. (laughs) During during the time you write your book, you'll be working on your branding because that that will be your brand. Right. So So, here's a question, though. What do you mean by independent? There's people that do this for companies? or Yes. So there, there's actually um, groups out there that are national companies um, that you can buy a franchise with. And oh, so they're, a flipping franchise. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. So, but here's the thing, though. It's not direct competition because I work with a lot of those guys. Mm. So when you've been in the business as long as I have, you cultivate a lot of relationships. Mm-hmm. And we will trade off contractors. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I have a couple of guys that, you know, are part of the franchise that we will literally trade back numbers, like, oh, you got a good carpet guy or you got a good tile guy. Sure, reliable. We want to keep these guys working. So we make sure that, you know, oh, hey, I got a good plumber. This guy beat the other guy. Or if you've got, like, two or three of them, Mm -hmm. if somebody gets busy, you've got two or three you know, possible right. so you can kind of Not pull in. in your back so there's a lot of networking involved mm-hmm. in this business, in this industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always said that, and I think this is in any business, though, your strategic partners and who you choose to do business with will either help hurl your business forward or it's, if you partner with the wrong people, it's going to be a stagnant situation. So there were a couple of these guys that you wanted to mention real quick. Yes. So in my upcoming meeting that I'm doing, um, a monthly deal, I have what I call strategic partners. A monthly deal. It's a monthly meeting. Is that the name of it? 
Excuse me? Is that the name of it? No. Oh. It really doesn't have an official name yet, so I'm working on the branding. Still. So, right. <laughs> so the, the monthly meeting is going to be a different topic every month, teaching a different area or expertise within the industry. Um, and some of the strategic partners that I have for this month are um, John Davidson with Hometown America, who is a realtor. Um, beam roofing, so obviously that's obvious. Jet lending, and then Frontier Title. All so, of whom can be members of this organization. They can, so and they, I will drag if, them. <laughs> if they're listening, we can also become a strategic partner because we have a ton of people that can actually sell, buy, flip. or And you too can be on the radio. <laughs> and <laughs> we can make you a star. <laughs> and, and the person that can make you a star, of course, is Janice Moreno because now she's got all that I got stuff your going back. through. What, She's got the jazz going yeah. today. You know, here's the fun part. I, I, I don't know how long I've been doing this show, maybe a couple years. I'm not, I'm not really sure how long. And then the, the one in Spanish, I used to do these programs by myself every week, every week, every week, right? Then I went on vacation at the beginning of this year, and Tom took over here, and Lily took over downtown. And what happens after time, over time, is that you learn to do this, and it becomes to be, it, it starts to become not such a big deal. I mean, it's a big deal. It's fun, and, and you know, people like it, and you like it. But, but it's not one of those things like, oh, my God. Like, you know. So that's why it's always so much fun to like, watch Janice, who's all excited, thinking, oh, my God, <laughs> my life is changing. You know? <laughs> you know? What's happening? But that's a new excitement when you dive right. into anything. Yeah. Right, exactly. So, I mean, that fire is so critical right. to help sustain through the long haul. It sustains <laughs> my inspiration, not yours, mine, because I see but, it. But, I mean, she's been doing what she's been doing for 20 years, and that's, she's still got that fire. Well, we're going to ask her about that. I'm setting it up, Janice. I'm setting it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's all right. That's okay. But to have that kind of, <laughs> to have that kind of fire, to have that kind mm-hmm. of, you know, the, that's the critical aspect of doing any business, mm-hmm. you know. And, and of course, making a little money helps. And hopefully, that that's the biggest aspect of all of this that you can actually be successful financially. But for twenty years that you've been doing this, and it's obviously a, a strong passion of yours. Um, how have you how have you been able to sustain that passion and sustain the way you feel right now about, for example, your your um, your events and things like that. I mean, what do you do to sustain that? Um, I think it kind of comes naturally because mm-hmm. I do enjoy what I do. It's mm-hmm. also allowed me to to stand back and, and take a part of my kids' lives from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. You know, I never wanted to be one of those people that wanted to do, you know, a 1,000 houses a year. So I do between five and 10 houses a year, and then I kind of kick back, and I'll take little breaks in between mm. to be able to take, you know, three weeks in the summer to, to haul booty to North Carolina on the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's about that work-life balance. Is Booty your kid? No. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Uh, but um, right. so, so like a said, serious question. I think that I'm not right. That was a serious question. Like, who's Booty? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I mean is, you know, you've got to have balance in your life. Right. So I think for me, owning this business has allowed a lot of balance to where I can mm-hmm. kind of step back and take blocks of time, you know, to cultivate those relationships with my kids. Okay. Um, which is probably why they want to be in the business too, because they see, you know, mom works hard, you know, morning, noon, and night for blocks of time, and then I'll take a block of time and go, ah, oh, okay, it's time to rejuvenate. You're listening to the Hispanic Chamber Connection radio show. This is Krista Birch speaking. She is a, a real estate entrepreneur. She can buy, sell, flip, and do all kinds of things with your home and with other homes. If you know anyone who wants to sell their home, if you yourself want to sell your home, or uh, you you have come into a situation where you need to get rid of or, or split your property, et cetera, et cetera, call her. Her number is 832 779 0206. 732 is the, what do you call it? Area the, code. The, the prefix, area code, whatever. <laughs> uh, you're also listening to, to Janice Moreno. Janice Moreno is debuting today. She's going to be co hosting the show, this program with Tom Brody. Janice Moreno, tell people that are listening right now, what's special about you? I know. I did this on purpose, guys. <laughs> this is called cornering. My wit. Okay. So My she's got charisma. wit and charisma. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sure, what does that mean? Is that a warning? <laughs> if you'd ask my husband, he'd say yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so the fun part about this is that, is that of course, you're going to be co-hosting with Tom. Yes. And, and Tom will enjoy your wit and, and all of your charisma. <laughs> so that's great. So when we come back from break, then we're going to talk extensively about the upcoming events and the things that are coming up, especially something that, that, um, that Krista has and, of course, some of the events that the Chamber is offering. So please stay with us. We'll be right back.
Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's community radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That's Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on the computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. A Lone Star Community Radio. Broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. Are you interested in learning more about preparing quick, healthy, and safe meals for your family? Would you like to spend time with others learning tips and tricks, along with practicing and tasting nutritious food? If so, the On the Road to Healthy Living Mobile Cooking School is for you. Call Amy Ressler at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service at 936-539-7825 to find a class near you or volunteer to host a class. Hey y'all, it's DJ Mike from Dan Simon, Texas. Join me Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. as I count down the top 10 Texas Red Dirt songs that are packing the dance floor. I'll be featuring local artists and the story behind the hits, shows in the area, as well as new songs that make you want to dance. It's Dance Time in Texas with DJ Mike on Lone Star Community Radio, 104.5 KCZW and 106.1 KZCC, Conroe, Texas, or online, IRLoneStar.com. We're back. We are back. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez, Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show, MyTexasChamber.com. Go to MyTexasChamber.com today, right now, and find out why we are the preferred chamber of commerce of business. We give you ample, ample opportunities for visibility, great targeted education, and, of course, business connections. That's our concern for you. We don't do things like save the whales or create new, new highways or take you to the voting booths. None of those things. We're more worried about your business and about making sure that you sustain a profitable business. So uh, to that end, for example, tomorrow, if you come to our program, um, our luncheon tomorrow, program luncheon, <laughs> whatever, uh, we're going to be here at Spring Creek Barbecue in Shenandoah uh, and um, Research Forest and 45. We're going to give away a complete guide to creating your own, your own video newsletter. We know that um, one of the most important things any of us can do is put what we do for a living, especially if we're passionate about it, on video. Because we're at our most attractive when we're passionate about something. That's what makes people want to even talk to us. It's our passion for whatever we're passionate about. And if that happens to be what you do for a living, then you're double blessed and it's even better. Because what you do doesn't seem like work. It just seems like something awesome you can do every day. And uh, you thank God, you get up in the morning and say, wow, I get to do this all over again, and this is so much fun, I love this, et cetera. So, so that's when your passion meets your, your daily activity. It is one, one wonderful ride, and we want to videotape that. We want to be sure you're videoing, because right now, guys, I'm just saying, at the beginning, you will stink it up. I mean, I, there's videos right now that I'm taking off YouTube because that was so bad. <laughs> and, you know, like, I can't do this anymore, you know. <laughs> And, and some of them I can't even watch. I know they're good because I have all these views, but I just I can't watch them because uh, it was just not a good video. And there's other ones that I, I walk right off the camera and I come back and, and nobody has said a word about them. It, it, you know, so people really don't worry so much about the quality as much as they do about the content of your videos. You know? So any bottom line is, is that we want to encourage everyone listening and also, of course, uh, Krista Birch and Janice Moreno. Are, uh, they promised already to be part of the challenge, the video challenge. And I'll get them to do that in a second. But first, please remember, this show is sponsored by... Lupe Martinez. Of what? What, pro, what, what? what does she work? State Farm Insurance Agent. She's the one to know in Conroe. <gasps> that was good. The one to know in Conroe. Uh, that was, <laughs> that's a good rhyme. Yeah. That, that's very good use of, of the language. <clears throat> LupeMartinez.com is where you can go and get a great quote. She has a staff. Uh, I think there's six people that work with her. And they uh, very quickly can give you a quote and talk to you about, about your insurance, about what's going on with that. Janice Moreno is debuting today. Today is her first, her first uh, show where she's co-hostessing. So we're taking all kinds of notes and acting really important. Guys, if you ever see her on the street or if you ever see her, if she ever comes into your restaurant, <laughs> be careful because she will demand the free fajitas or something. 
And, and I'm joking, but guys, take care of her because, you know, she's on the air now and she's influential and whatever. So <laughs> speaking, of influ- <laughs> speaking of influence, so we're here also with, with, uh, with Krista Birch. Krista Birch is a uh, she's an entrepreneur. She does real estate. She buys and sells homes. And, um, and uh, so, so I think it's really interesting, Krista, that, that you've reached a point in your career after 20 years that now you've become sort of the teacher and you're helping other people. Uh, tell us a little bit about that event that's coming up. When is it? What time is it? Where is it going to be, et cetera? So on September 17th at World of Beer in Cypress Town Lake, um, we are going to be meeting up from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock um, to discuss how to make it the long haul in real estate investing. So if this is something that you're looking at wanting to do, um, tips and tricks and information um, and strategic partners, you know, um, to learn about the business so that you can also sustain yourself over the long haul. So if you're flipping and you're flipping out because you do, you just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> that should be the name of your meeting. Well, flipping out? Yeah. Oh, there, there, no, no that, that wouldn't be a positive. <laughs> That's a but we, because we, I know that some of you guys are listening uh, to this program who are actually right now chasing and trying to figure out what you've done and, and the, the, the big commitment that you've engaged on buying two homes or three homes, and now all of a sudden you have to figure out how to flip them quickly and sell them and all, and you really don't have more expertise than what you've seen on television. You know, and you, you, you might have thought, okay, well, I have a real estate license, now I can do it. Is it enough to have a real estate license and watch TV, Krista? Well, I don't have a real estate license. So okay. in order to do this, you do not have to be licensed Very to good. do it. Okay. So um, that was one of the pieces that I chose to step back from and not take a part of. In my, in my vast history of 20 years, I've done a lot of different things mm-hmm, within mm-hmm. the industry. Sure. Um, loan officer was one of them. But real estate, I worked as an assistant for a real estate for, agent for a while. Um, gained a lot of knowledge and brought a lot of business to the table, actually. Um, so again, that goes back to the strategic partners. Okay, um, so so going back, going back to your to your seminar, okay, or whatever that's called, from six flipping to nine. Out. Yes. What? Flipping out. It's called the. Uh, <laughs> it's an event. How do how how do I learn more about? It? Do you have like a website? Or? It's actually posted on the calendar at World of Beer. Um, Cyprus. You can also text me. That sounds me like a directly. place where there's going to be drinks. Will there be there drinks are, involved? Actually, the strategic partners um, are providing alcoholic beverages and appetizers ah. during the event. Mm-hmm. So um, you will find, actually, you said I don't have gray hair earlier. There are a lot of us that will sit down and we will strategize and talk shop over beers. We never, we never offer alcohol at any of our events. Oh, no? Oh, no. It's just yeah. you know, because I become a very different person. So I'd rather not have alcohol. I'm kidding. <laughs> it, it, our experience has always been, it, it's just more, it, it's, it's more sane to be careful with alcohol. But, but, well, I think our industry is a little different than most businesses okay. are, for sure. Um, the, the challenges that we face in our industry, mm-hmm. when you have a little boo-boo, usually the boo-boo could entail anywhere, you know, 10,000, 50,000, All right, well, 50, let me 000. tell you about boo-boos real quick. This lady here cuts hair. If she commits a, n- a mistake. <laughs> if she says, oops, that's the same thing as a surgeon saying, oops, <laughs> it's not good. It, you know, but, but hers is fixed in two weeks. Your hair grows back. Right, right. In your case, you lose. You can lose a lot of money. Yeah. So there's, there's high risk in this also. Yes, there is There is high risk. But here's the thing, though. If you, if you know what you're doing and right. after 20 years, you know, I definitely put myself in that category of saying I'm, I'm seasoned. Uh-huh. Um, so you kind of learn how I, I call it shucking and jiving. Okay, so say it again. <laughs> when is your event? It is on September 17th from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock at World of Beer in Town Lake in Houston. We're on the calendar. And then you can also text message me directly, and I will send you the information at 832-779-0206. It's the Hispanic Chamber Connection radio show. You've been listening to Janice Moreno, co-hostess, and Carlos Sanchez. And, of course, with, uh, with, with this program, I want to just tell you thank you very much for listening. We were brought to you by the Lupe Martinez Insurance Agency. Crystal Birch, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll see you guys again next week. And until then, talk to you soon. Bye.